Hi, BJ Ward, President 2015 of BCCAR, and I wanted to update you on a few things that we'll be having uh, as a part of our association for the next couple weeks. So first off, is general membership meeting that will happen on June 18th, and we will have Gov Hutchinson from CAR Legal Counsel giving us an update on legal uh, matters, but we'll also have our, uh, our elections for our new directors and officers. You do have the ability this year for the first time to vote online, but you can also come physically to the Residence Inn at River Ridge and cast your vote in person and to hear from the candidates directly. Another thing to look out for, which will be a free member benefit to those uh, members of BCCAR, is Trend Graphics. And Trend Graphics will be embedded directly into our MLS through a single sign-on, and it will allow you to put together really nice, uh, clean charts and graphs that you can put in front of your clients. Trend Graphics is perfect for uh, listing presentations. And what it does is it allows you to take the raw information from the MLS, days on the market, months of inventory, uh, what's active and pending and contingent and sold, and you can take all that information and put it into a very compelling presentation uh, in front of your client. So again, it's a free member benefit and be on the lookout for it because it's coming in the next few weeks. Our education committee has put together the event of the year as far as education is concerned. On June 17th at the Crown Plaza in Ventura, we'll have guest speaker Matthew Ferry there to talk about mindset and creating the right mindset for realtors. And um, the main thing about this, I think, is that is that the event is free. So they secured a sponsor, Chase, they've made the commitment to us, and um, we are really excited about having Matthew Ferry here. But keep in mind that space and seats are limited. You'll have to go to Eventbrite to register and to secure your seat. And that will be again June 17th at the Crown Plaza in Ventura. I also wanted to bring up the, uh, what we've been hearing a lot about, which is the CFPB, or the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. A lot of realtors who I talk to don't really think or feel that this has anything directly to deal with them, and they're right to a certain extent. But what, what this new uh, change uh, will do, starting August 1st, is it will require us to have uh, longer timelines, really. We're not going to see, from what I'm hearing from lenders, we're not going to see escrows closing in 30 days. So we'll have to educate other agents and our clients and consumers on, on what that means. So we'll be looking at longer uh, escrow periods and we may need longer contingency periods. So um, what I'm asking for, for you in the realtor community is to make sure that you take advantage of educational opportunities that are out there regarding CFPB just so you are in the know. There's another thing that I've uh, been hearing a, a lot about, and not just uh, from the real estate community, but from my neighbors, um, in the news, and certainly from clients, both buyers and sellers, and that has to deal with the drought and uh, the idea of conserving water in California. I don't really have anything to request of you right now, but I think that the realtor community needs to be a part of that discussion. I feel that we have to be a part of that discussion, and we have to find or understand ways that we can educate our, our, our clients on ways to conserve water and ways to landscape in an environment that we kind of have to deal with as far as the drought is concerned. So what I'm asking for you guys to do is if you want to be a part of that discussion, then please reach out to me. You'll see my information below uh, pop up here, but reach out to, uh, to me because I think it's imperative that realtors be a part of the discussion regarding the drought and ways to conserve water. So in closing, I wanted to encourage you to go and like our VCCAR Facebook page. When you like our page, you'll get all the information that we post, you'll get videos like these, you'll get articles, photos, um, information on billing, and anything else that's pertinent and relevant as far as our association is concerned. So make sure, make sure you go back and you like our Facebook page. I wanted to take this opportunity again, lastly, just to thank you for watching this video, and I will be seeing you soon. Thanks.